Hi there. Today we'll be looking at something very interesting. This is no other than the behavior of organisms. In some other videos we've talked about the behavior of plants by growing towards or away from stimuli. Now in today's lesson we'll be looking at exactly the same concept but we'll be talking about organisms performing those kinds of responses. For example, in this short video, you can see that after the snail is touched, it begins to hide. This is Z Online School, and in this video, you and I are going to be understanding taxism. We're going to do this in a systematic way, and by the end of this video, you should be able to know what a taxic response is, how taxic responses occur, the types of taxic responses and now at the end of this video we've got some bonus tips for you so make sure you watch this video till the end for you to get the maximum value out of it let's talk about what a taxic response is in terms of definition it's very simple it's just a response of an organism by either moving towards or away from a stimulus just like i said at the start of this video Taxic responses are similar to tropic responses. The only difference is that taxic responses involve organisms instead of plants. And now because they're involving organisms, you can see that instead of growth, we are seeing the word move. So there are two things involved, the organism and the movement. With that said and done, now let's look at something about taxic responses that is also worth noting. A positive taxism is the response of an organism towards a stimulus. So you can see it's positively moving towards a stimulus. We'll get to know this even better after we look at examples of taxic responses. Now, you must note that these names that are being used in this video are referring to the standard Zambian syllabus. So you might find that some terms here are not as they are used in your country. But don't worry, we have you covered too. The other thing is negative taxism. Negative taxism is the response of an organism away from a stimulus. So it's getting away from that stimulus and therefore we're saying that negative. Positive is going towards while negative going away from. With that said and done, now let's look at briefly how toxic responses occur. In every toxic response, like we have said, we have an organism. Now, apart from the organism, we have a stimulus and after the organism is exposed to a certain stimulus, which is just an environment causing some changes in the organism, there will be a response from that organism. Obviously, this organism will use the receptors to understand the stimulus. And now when the receptors sense a certain stimulus, the organism will cause a movement through the effectors. And so basically, this is how each and every toxic response will occur. There will be a stimulus that is sensed by the receptors. Then the organism causes the effectors to cause a response. With that said and done, now let's look at the different types of toxic responses that you will learn about. The first one, as you can see, is phototaxism, which is just the response of an organism to light. In this taxism, the organism will either move towards or away. If it moves towards, we already know it will be positive taxism. And now because it will be moving towards light, that will be termed as positive phototaxism. As you can see right now, there's this cockroach that has popped up here. A cockroach shows negative phototaxism. If a light is switched on and there were some cockroaches in a place that was dark, the cockroaches will move away from that place and hide. Why? Because cockroaches are showing negative phototaxism. They will make a response that will make them move away from light. In this other example, we've got a moth. If you want to see taxism that is shown by moths, take a walk one day, go outside and check some lights. Just like we've defined phototaxism, we already know that a moth will show positive phototaxism with that said and then let's look at geotaxism as you know geo is 
usually used for gravity and so this is a response of an organism to gravity it will either move towards or away from it if it moves towards it will be positive geotaxism if it moves away it will be negative geotaxism and sometimes the word gravity might be used instead of geo so you might find this kind of toxic response being referred to as gravitaxism however mostly it will be geotaxism a perfect example of geotaxism is the earthworm earthworms will move towards the force of gravity we know the force of gravity is that force that pulls everything down and so an earthworm will show positive geotaxism because it will always move towards gravity another example that is less common is the example where a small rat is gotten then the base on which its foot is tilted what happens after a certain angle is reached is that that rat will begin to go against gravity however for the zambian syllabus you should always remember that the earthworm shows positive geotaxism the next kind of toxic response is hydrotaxism we've looked at hydrotropisms already so i'm sure you know that this prefix that we're putting before which is hydro means water therefore this is the response of an organism to water by either moving towards or away from it the perfect example for this kind of toxic response is the wood lice wood lice is an organism that attacks wood positive hydrotaxism is shown by the wood lice and the wood lice will usually be found in wood that is wet than in the wood that is dry because the water is what attracts this wood lice. Another one is chemotaxism. Chemotaxism is the response of an organism to chemicals by either moving towards or away from them. This one is quite interesting. Let's say you work on a farm. You don't want insects to get to your crops what you do is spray some chemicals, right? You agree with me that after the spraying is done, very few insects, sometimes even none, will attack your crops. That's an example of negative chemotaxism. Now, usually in our bodies, we've got certain cells. For example, when we talk about the clotting process, the platelets will produce some chemicals in the blood that will cause more platelets to come to a place where there's injury. In such an example, we'll be talking about positive chemotaxism. Another example we can always remember is one involving bacteria. Let's say you've got bacteria that needs to be killed in your body. Let's say you are sick of a certain disease and now some bacteria accumulating in your body. Usually we'll take some medication. That medication in your body will contain some chemicals that will cause the bacteria to move away from your body or move away from certain parts in your body. However, if maybe you don't take that medication, some chemicals in your body will cause bacteria to keep accumulating. That's all for the types of toxic responses. Now, let's look at some bonus tips. The first tip we need to talk about is the other form in which toxic responses may be referred to. In the Zambian syllabus, the terms that have been used throughout this video are the recommended ways in which you can handle this topic. Now, for other people who are not being examined under the ECZ syllabus, you will find that a toxic response will be referred to as a taxis. And therefore, just like we defined it when you're asked to define a taxis, you must do. As you can see, the plural of a taxis is taxes. Sometimes taxis might be referred to as tactic responses. However, mostly the word taxis is usually used. Therefore, you should be able to relate that the positive taxis is the response towards stimulus and the negative taxis is the response away from stimulus then you should be able to change each of the types of the toxic responses we looked at in the following way for example phototaxism will change to phototaxis chemotaxism will change to chemotaxis and hydrotaxism 
will change to hydrotaxis. Again here you might find that these types are referred to as the following phototactic responses, chemotactic responses and hydrotactic responses. With that said and done, you must be able to find value in this video. Now another thing we should not forget about are some other types of toxic responses or tactic responses and as it might be referred to taxes. This table here shows you some examples of other toxic responses you can remember. As you can see here, it views the word taxis because mostly these kind of names will be referred to in this manner. Under the CZ syllabus, only those four we talked about will usually come in questions. However, for those viewing out of Zambia, you'll find these other kinds of taxes or tactic responses. Thermotaxis, you can see it's just temperature being a stimulus. Thigmotaxis is that example that we started with where an organism is touched and then a response is seen from the organism. Aerotaxis and barotaxis are some other examples. With that said and done, you have finally reached the end of this video. So get out and try to see how many toxic responses or tactic responses that you can see in your environment.